Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 7 of the year 2020, amending provisions in the Criminal Procedures Law promulgated by Decree 46 of the year 2002. The World Health Organization Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus sent a letter to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in which he expressed appreciation for the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness to reduce the scope and impact of the coronavirus pandemic. The Director General expressed the organization's pride and His Royal Highness's support to create an urgent and widespread community momentum to end the pandemic as soon as possible, which the Director General said is crucial to the success of the national and international responses to tackle the crisis. He noted the importance of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's role in a unified in a unified international community position to overcome the virus that knows no geographical or political borders. The Director General briefed the, His Royal Highness on the latest developments and the strategic plan to combat the disease. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the government put in place rapid prevention plans to deal with the outbreak as soon as it occurred and that everyone in Bahrain is working together to protect their country and society. His Royal Highness noted that the government was proactive in taking preventative and precautionary Cautionary measures, mobilization and media education to combat the outbreak. He praised WHO's great efforts in sharpening and uniting international efforts to combat the virus and stressed that the government's bureaus in Bahrain have been directed to be in constant coordination with the WHO. He also said that the government, under the guidance of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, took all measures to combat the disease on all levels, including activating emergency protocols, confronting disasters and developing a national plan to tackle the disease. Royal Highness the Premier also praised the successful efforts of His Royal Highness the Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawzi Azainal chaired the Council's Bureau online meeting to discuss a number of national and parliamentary topics and local developments, as well as to hail national efforts to combat the coronavirus. The Representatives Council Bureau expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his directives and unlimited support to the country and its people during this exceptional time. The Bureau also expressed thanks and appreciation to the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His his Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the continuous cooperation with the Council and informing the Council about the repatriation plan of citizens abroad according to precautionary measures that ensure their safety. The Bureau also expressed its support to all measures and decisions made to face challenges in all fields commending the efforts of Team Bahrain and the citizens' position role in following officials' directives and regulations which reflects their awareness. The president of the Civil Service Bureau, Ahmed Zayed Al Zayed, announced increasing the percentage of government employees who may work from home to 70% of the overall capacity of a given ministry or authority as of April 5, 2020, and until further notice. This step comes as a part of the Civil Service Bureau's execution of the decision of the Executive Committee, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on allowing employees to work from home or possible. The president of the bureau said that the decision is a part of the preventative measures to contain the outbreak of the coronavirus and added that the government's ministries and authorities will determine how to assign work from home to its employees. He said that the decision excludes vital government bureaus which are determined determined in coordination with the civil service bureau and other parties to serve the interests of the public. He concluded by saying that employees whose wives are engaged in directly dealing with containing the outbreak will be prioritized. The Ministry of Finance and National Economy published the 2019 Bahrain Annual Economic Report incorporating the latest economic data and indicators for the kingdom's economy and highlighting important global and regional economic analysis. The report indicates that Bahrain's economic development remains on track, supported by the government's comprehensive physical and economical strategy and the guiding principles of the Economic Vision 2030. Results show that the kingdom recorded annual real GDP growth of 1.8% during 
2019 spurred by a recovery of the oil sector which grew by 2.2 percent and continued non-oil sector growth of 1.7 percent both in real terms. The hotels and restaurants sector registered the strongest non-oil sector performance in 2019 growing by 6.8 percent year on year supported by a 3.8 percent increase in the number of visitors across the King Fahad Causeway and a 5.5 percent increase in arrivals via Bahrain International Airport. The average length of stay for visitors increased by 16.8 percent with average daily visitor spending increased by 1.1 percent. Demand for five-star and four-star hotels also saw strong growth in 2019 with occupancy rates reaching 52 percent and 49 percent respectively. Demand for five-star accommodation grew particularly strongly increased by 6 percent year-on-year. The personal and social services sector also registered strong growth in 2019, expanding by 2.9 percent and bolstered by growth in the private educational sectors or services and private health service sectors. The construction and manufacturing sectors saw a robust expansion of 2.6 percent and 1.6 percent respectively in 2019, with the manufacturing sector partly supported by the inauguration of Aluminum Bahrain Alba's Line 6 expansion project. This year's report further indicates that financial services remain the kingdom's largest non-oil sector contribution, 16.5 percent to the GDP, followed by manufacturing at 14.5 percent and government services at 11.8 percent. The report further details the completion of a number of major construction projects in the kingdom in 2019, including projects under the GCC Development Fund. The most prominent of these were the completion of 1,560 housing units in Medina Khalifa and the development of Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Al Subah Highway. The kingdom's oil sector project also saw a great milestone reach with the Bahrain Petroleum Company Bobco modernization project achieving 40% completion. The project is expected to conclude in 2022. The Ministry of Health announced 66 new active COVID-19 cases following tests of foreign labor workers in Selmabad. The workers were moved to a quarantine center yesterday following a positive case registered at their place of residence where they were self-isolating. After confirming positive results as part of ongoing testing for individuals in quarantine, the new active cases were moved to treatment facilities immediately. The ministry has taken comprehensive preventative measures including testing all individuals known to have been in contact with positive cases to ensure their safety. Contacts of the new active cases have had their quarantine period extended for an additional two weeks in line with preventative protocols. The foreign workers did not leave quarantine while self-isolating at their place of residence. All were moved into designated quarantine centers as a precaution. There has been no community spread of the virus amongst foreign laborers. Businesses should diligently follow the health guidelines published on the Ministry of Health's website for workplace safety, which covers a range of topics from effective management of suspected cases and places of residence for foreign workers to sterilization processes. The Ministry of Health urged citizens and residents to obtain COVID-19 related information regarding existing cases from official sources. The Ministry of Health stated that of the 353 coronavirus COVID-19 cases with a history of travel to countries with high infection rates, 68% were detected among travelers returning from Iran. To date, a total of 241 confirmed COVID-19 cases have been detected among travelers returning from Iran, followed by 57 travelers returning from the United Kingdom, 12 travelers returning from Egypt, 8 returnees from Iraq, and 27 travelers from other countries with high infection rates. Bahrain, with its high recovery rate is being recognized as a model for mitigation or mitigating the spread of the COVID-19. To date, the kingdom has recorded 337 recoveries, far exceeding total active cases. The Ministry of Health is committed to maintaining total transparency of reporting and care and publishes regular, up-to-date and in-depth public health information covering all active cases and their contacts. The Ministry asks that citizens and residents refrain from sharing public health information from unofficial sources. The Ministry is enacting strict preventative measures to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, including testing all arriving passengers to determine whether they require treatment or quarantine in accordance with recommendations outlined by the World Health Organization. 
The Labor Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, announced the determination of monthly work fees and fees for issuing and renewing work permits for a period of three months starting from the 1st of April 2020. The announcement comes in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to support the private sector as the main engine of growth. The move also follows the government's recent announcement of a comprehensive economic stimulus package to support the economy during the global coronavirus the virus COVID-19 pandemic. The LMRA highlighted its continued support to national efforts to counter the effects of the global spread of COVID-19 and underlined its commitment to assist the kingdom's small and medium-sized enterprises during this period.